Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be breaking down the Packers week three stunning and impressive victory against the Tennessee Titans where under backup quarterback Malik Willis back facing the team that traded him just weeks before the season went 2-0 as a starter with the Packers and it was awesome. There's a lot of great things to talk about from this game. But before we do that, we're going to break down the scoring plays and go through the box score. And then we will get into the very, very, very impressive Packers win. So before we get into all that, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And let's go and get in. So scoring started off in the first quarter with the Packers. First drive of the game, methodical down the field. Malik Willis got a five-yard touchdown run. On the Titans' first drive, uh, Nick Vanette had a one-yard touchdown pass from Will Levis. Uh, Braden Narvison hit a 21-yard field goal to make it 10-7 Green Bay. And then Jair Alexander got his first career pick six off of Will Levis for a 17-7 Green Bay lead. And then in the second quarter, uh, Braden Narvison had hit a 26-yard field goal. Third quarter, Emmanuel Wilson had a 30-yard touchdown pass from Malik Willis to make it 27-7 Green Bay. His first career NFL touchdown. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins had an 11-yard touchdown pass from Will Levis, 27-14. And then in the fourth quarter, Narvison hit a 47-yard field goal for the final score of 30-14. to Let's take a look at the box score here. For the Packers, Malik Willis had another fantastic game, going 13-19 of for 202 yards. One touchdown, no interceptions, did have three sacks, but a quarterback rating of 92.9 and a passer rating of 120.9 absolutely impressive from the league and as well he added 73 yards on the ground and a touchdown long on 29 led the team in rushing Amanda Wilson 12 for 50 Jacobs 14 for 43 Reed 2 for 19 and Brooks 3 for 3 on the last drive uh, 37 yard carries for 188 yards on the day for Green Bay against a really good Titans front 7 they're receiving uh, Christian Watson, 2 for 67, Reed, 4 for 50, Wilson, 2 for 35, and a touchdown, Kraft, 2 for 24, Dowd, 1 for 18, Jacobs, 1 for 5, and Musgrave, 1 for 3. Uh, fumbles, Lucas Van Ness had a fumble recovery. Defense, this is where we can really get into it. McDuffie led a team in tackles, total 9. Uh, McDuffie and Walker had a half sack each. Devontae Wyatt had a big day with two sacks. Kingsley and Ingbari, one and a half sacks. Half a sack for Edron Cooper. Preston Smith had two sacks. Lucas Van Ness had a sack off of Rashawn Gary pressure. Um, so eight sacks in total for the Packers. Two tackles for Russell Wyatt. One for Enigbari. Two for Smith. One for Van Ness. Alexander and McKinney both had pass deflections. Alexander had a touchdown. QB hits. One for McDuffie. Three for Wyatt. Absolute menace. Two for Enigbari. One for Cooper. Two for Smith. One for Van Ness. One for Carl Brooks. And interceptions, Alexander, one interception for 35 yards and a touchdown. McKinney had his third interception in as many games, giving him three on the year. Uh, Narvison, three for three, long of 47, but he did miss one from like around 45 yards. That was nullified due to a penalty, but still was perfect on the day. Uh, Whelan, five punts, averaged 48.8, two touchbacks, and a long of 63 yards. And another impressive fact, held the Titans to 30 three yards on the ground nothing was going on there and again i have to shout out matt lafleur for the offensive game plan he concocted this game because i thought they were going to be a very very run heavy team like they were last week against the colts but he knew with the titans um defense being a good run stopping unit he baked in a lot of play action malik was had a lot of deep shots i mean he had three Passes for over 30 yards to Wilson, Reed, and Watson. That is impressive. and But still kept honest with the run game. I mean, 188 yards rushing was really, really good. And so Matt LaFleur, excellent, excellent game plan. Played to the strengths of Malik Willis, who again, for the second straight week, after looking like trash with Tennessee before coming to Green Bay, has looked like a competent starting NFL quarterback. Great on read options was efficient passing the ball and he is now beloved in green bay 
He has the teammates all surrounding him, patting him on the back. Jordan Love is absolutely in love with this. Malik Willis is fantastic. Emmanuel Wilson, he was good as well. Had 85 total yards on the ground, including a touchdown. Um, Jacobs, hard to get going, but he had a couple of big runs that were called back by penalty. That's like the one criticism for this game I'll get into a bit. But he could have had an even bigger game than what he had if penalties didn't call back some of his bigger runs. Uh, Watson, I have to shout out Christian Watson because on his first catch, he made a contested jump ball catch. That I love that for him. He has been fantastic. I, he needs to get better at that. And that is a very, very good sign to see him do that. And then the defense. Oh, the defense. Eight sacks. Um, we kind of knew that the past two weeks, the Packers' pass rush wasn't being as aggressive as it would have been facing Jalen Hurts and Anthony Richardson, two of the best running quarterbacks in the league, playing more of a contained rush. But against Levis, who is a more traditional pocket passer, everyone was out. <laughs> they were, yeah. Devontae Wyatt is continuing to break out so far this year, getting two sacks in the game. And Barre was fantastic. Uh, Preston Smith was fantastic. I mean, Enning Barre had a force fumble on Will Levis that uh, Lucas Van Ness was able to pick up. Van Ness got a sack, and Rashawn Geary got some good pressure on him as well that led to other guys getting sacks too. I know it was against the Titans O-line, which is not that great, but this is the kind of defense I've been wanting to see. There were two drives that were kind of concerning, especially the first drives for the Titans and the other touchdown drive, but if you only give up two touchdowns in a game and you can dominate the rest, that is pretty darn good. And another thing, the secondary. Uh, Xavier McKinney has been worth every single penny the Packers are giving him so far. He has been nothing but electric. He's been a great, great deep safety. The Packers already have seven interceptions this year. That is the same as they had all of last year under Joe Stinkin' Barry. And I am I'm in love with this defense. Uh, Narvison. After missing that 1K that was caught by the penalties, perfect. He hit a 47-yarder, which is now new long in the regular season. I think he's starting to get a bit more comfortable with the Packers, and I think that is a very, very good thing. But overall, I am very, very impressed with this D team right now. And Will Levis, you suck. <laughs> Just had to say that. But right now, the Packers, if you would have told me that in general we would start 2-1 to start the year, I would have been happy. But to go 2-0 and o without... Jordan Love, due to injury, I I am flabbergasted. He, Malik Willis and Matt Floor have been fantastic so far this year. And with Jordan Love resting this week, giving him plenty of time to get ready for our big, big early season NFC North matchup with the Minnesota Vikings in Lambeau. This is going to be a fantastic, fantastic game. And it's going to be, it's going to be a tough one, so Packers better bring their A game. To that one and then yeah let's take a look at stats so far <clears throat> willis so far leading the team in passing because again love has been hurt but really good for him josh jacobs leading the team in rushing no rushing touchdowns yet we got to get better at that but then willis wilson and reed receiving wise um reed 10 for 197 and a touchdown to lead so far this year as well dobbs is the other one over 100 yards and tackles, Quay Walker is leading us in total tackles, but we look at sacks here. Devontae Wyatt already has three. Press Smith has two. Barry one and a half, one for Gary Nixon and Van Ness. And half sacks east for McDuffie, Cooper, and Walker. Interceptions, again, already have seven. Three for McKinney, two for Jair Alexander, one for Wilson, and one for Williams. And I expect those numbers only to get better. And yeah, it is just, it is fantastic what we're seeing from the Packers. And even after the Vikings game, the Rams are beatable. Cardinals, beatable. Jaguars, beatable. Bears, very beatable. And then we got the Texans and Lions, but both of those are home games coming up. But overall, I am very, very impressed with the Packers. And we have a big, big, big showdown against the Minnesota Vikings next week. And I cannot wait to watch that game. So let me know what you guys think. How do you think the Packers are doing so far to start this year? And... Comment down below, and I'll see you again very soon. Peace.